Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm continuing working on my wife's Tahoe. And in the previous episode you guys saw I was able to finish that frame with the engine with everything over there in order to fit this cap body on top of that frame. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing in this episode. So first things first, I need to hook up truck to a trailer and then I need to move the frame, turn it around, actually move it first, move it out of the way, back my trailer in under this hoist, somehow lift this whole body in the air and honestly I don't know how much this weight, I know 4 tons capable of that, but another thing is I don't know how am I supposed to hook it up. I don't see any ways to hook it up in order to lift it. As you guys remember, Sierras and Silverados have some things where I can hook it up on the bottom. But here, there's no way I can hook it up, even though if I can, then the strap gonna come out over here and probably damage the door. So I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of solution uh, how to lift this cab off of here, cab body off of my trailer, but I don't know how I'm gonna do this. First, like I said, let's hook it up the truck to a trailer, let's get it under the hoist and then go from there. Hopefully I can make that happen. So I think I'm somewhere in the middle and honestly I would put front end more this way and that way because I think the rear end is going to be way heavier than the front end because of the you can see the structure so I believe there's more weight right now on the back than on the front what's on the front it's hollow the radiators and that's it so now I need to find out, figure it out, I should say, how to raise it without damaging, without doing any damage to it. That's gonna be a challenge, man. Honestly, I don't see how am I gonna do this. I mean, trucks was simple, cause there's, you know, I can grab with the, with something, but this, this is uh, different, I guess. We're just gonna roll with whatever we have and just gonna update you as I go. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna snap this wires and then probably gonna jack it up one side, get those uh, two by sixes out 
and then jack another side and try to use the straps like I did on the Sierras and Silverados. Put it there underneath it and somehow make it so the strap doesn't damage the door. Am I just gonna end up opening doors up? I don't know. We'll see how it's gonna be leaning. Main goal is not to make it damage. Hopefully that's not gonna be the case. So this is kind of solution that I came up with. I moved the uh, dolly lift a little and I was able to pick it up like this. You can see it's bent in plastic a little, but this is the best what I can do. Same thing here, but the angle allows me to pull it. Same thing on this side. So right now I need to make sure that I'm about the same height where the engine is to clear out everything from here when I'm gonna be pushing this uh, frame underneath it I think I need to because uh, th that is about here so it's about here I say we need another five inches to raise it it's super sketchy I don't like it I don't like it whatsoever but there's no other choice this is the only choice that i have right now the other choice is to rent the forklift but that's gonna be way too long too much the thing okay i finally got this uh, body on the frame man made a couple things one here from this and same thing on the other side but there's no other way i could have got this 
cab on the frame off of this trailer it is what it is i'm gonna have to stop by a dent repair he's gonna take care of it it bothers me oh well only one thing i could not do something else in order to take this cab off cab or body however you want to call it cab body yeah i'm kind of disappointed a little it's a new vehicle 2022 yeah the front end damage is i knew about it but something this i did it while i was working but it is what it is anyway so what's the plan right now the plan right now is i need to push this uh car suv truck i know there's gonna be a lot of comments oh it's not a car it says SUV. it's uh well whatever it needs to be pushed back so i can finish assembling front end uh i already bolt on few cap bolts so now with the tractor i'll push it out push it back and try finish the front end as much as possible Okay, now it's a fun part. Trying to hook in everything up. Okay, I already see the problem, but it's not a problem. Take this off and put it, uh, everything in the right spot. What we have over here, this one goes under there. Wow, is this all the way from that side? Because this go it gotta go into fuse box over there. Yeah, still lots to hook up. There's two lines. It's so this is the engine cooler. No, this is actually tr uh, transmission oil cooler. Engine oil cooler goes through the uh, radiator. I don't know why they did that, but that's how uh, they did it. I need to find all the lines, look for everything, make sure everything is hooked up. And finger cross, this thing will start, right? I guess I did as much as I can today it took me a while to figure it out where the secondary pump goes and it actually goes on the bottom and bolts on the block so it took me a while to figure it out how it runs so now over here at this spot I think everything is here but it looks like I might supposed to have something there and there I'm not sure there's still a bunch of hookups needs to be done but i have enough of the daylight i can continue i mean i honestly can continue but at the same time i'm tired it was a tough week and it was a tough day today getting all that on the frame i'm tired and happy so i like the progress so i'm done for today i'll continue tomorrow and i'll Tomorrow we'll see how far I can get. Guys, I was able to finish work slightly earlier. You can see it's already evening. And I'm just gonna continue working on the Tahoe uh, and continue putting everything back together. Not a whole lot left, but it's gonna take some time for me to figure it out where goes what. I did most of it, but still plenty still to do so let's not just waste the time and 
connect everything and then go from there. Right now I'm super excited and at the same time I'm super worried. What about if this engine not good? What about if something not from here? What about this? What about that? But at the same time I'm ready to try and start this rig. Looks like I tackled everything that I can think of. Can see all the wiring, all the hoses, everything looking good. Uh, AC line way on the bottom. Over there I'm gonna have to find the bolt not actually and tie it. There's a couple spots on the bottom that need to tie a 10 millimeter. I need to find those bolts, nuts and which I don't have it. Oh, actually forgot to plug in the master flow sensor. That's it. I think I'm ready. I don't want to put any water in it just in case you know and also I can't touch drive it because the brake line is still disconnected and needs to be bladed but other than that I'm ready I'm ready to try and start this uh, Tahoe and hopefully hopefully finger crossed everything gonna go smooth what could go wrong huh guys what could go wrong nothing right <laughs> Let's see if we have power at the first. Oh, we do have power. Let me get a GoPro so I can record from both sides. By the way, guys, we actually can see how many miles on it. Remember I said it's right around 2500. But one thing didn't click to me. There is a sticker on the windshield. That means the vehicle might have either zero miles or less than 100. So I already lost it. Now let's go and check it out. Oh! One, two, three. Ah, uh, nothing. Oh! <laughs> really? What the heck? <laughs> Check it out, guys. It's 15 miles. <laughs> wow! Oh, wow. It's a brain freaking. It just clicked to me. It's brand new vehicle. Why it didn't click to me? The seat have covers. Because I was getting them from the passenger side. This is the seat. And I didn't realize the driver's seat actually have a... Oh, man. It's a brand new vehicle. 15 miles, guys. Wow. Wife is going to be happy. Three, two, one, start. There's a lot of lights going on, but the car starts. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I forgot? You know what I forgot? I totally forgot to check the oil level. Oops, 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 oops. I forgot. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, man. Oh, 
<laughs> that was close. Oh man. Good. We are good on oil. Taho starts. Yeah. Achieve it. I achieved it. Yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. 15 miles. Wow. Wow. Let's... Trailer lights. Okay, go back home. Audio phone. Okay, let's turn this off. Off. What the heck? Red. White. Red. Man. We gotta do something with it. Man, man, I'm excited. I wanted to drive it, but I can't. I need to do the brakes and all the good stuff. And today I'm not gonna have time to do all that. I need to shut it off. Park, break. Yes, yes. Moving closer to the end. <sighs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. Man. You know how big of a relief this is? After investing so much money and you don't know what you're getting. It's just like a, a casino gamble. If you're not gonna risk it, you're not gonna have a biscuit, right? <laughs> Ah uh, man. Oh, oh, see? Something is now hooked up. We have a leak somewhere. I wonder from where. Oh, that's a brake. Yes. That brake, that's a brake fluid because I pressed the brake. Because I needed to start the vehicle. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I can do here before I can start. Oh, I can't actually put the front end together because I need to order broken parts and that's gonna be tomorrow. I need to check it out what else I can do on, on this Taho before I will end up this episode. Okay, I found what I can do. I actually can finish everything on the back. I can since I can finish the on the front and I would just want to continue get it uh, as much stuff uh, as possible. That's why. Let's put the bumper back together. See what needs to be hooked up. Put everything together. And also I need to not to forget. Uh, get all the bolts on the cap to, uh, to the frame. So that's another thing. So, And by the time we'll be done, it's going to be dark. So let's continue rolling. Sucks, my impact gun broke down. I don't know, uh, am I gonna be... Oh! <laughs> now it works fine. Oh, see what it does. I will work on it, see if I can get it fixed so I can bolt on the cap to the frame. But at this point, I'm gonna wrap it up this episode, guys. This is how rear end looks. I mean, beautiful, right? Look, it's freaking brand new vehicle, 15 miles. I still cannot believe that it's freaking 15 miles on the vehicle. And this is how it looks from this side. Man, I love it. I wish we can have more deals like this. Easy builds, you know. Uh, you can flip and make a good money. And it's also a newer vehicle, which is really awesome. My wife gonna love it. She still haven't heard how this Tahoe started, but hey. I think it's gonna be better 
to see it complete instead of just starting the engine. And right now I'm just gonna have to go. I gotta go pick up my truck, guys on the way from work. So I'll continue tomorrow and I'll see you next episode. Thank you for stopping by Instagram here. I'll see you next time.